soulmates, or just maybe something else. With JLo and Ben's rocky past, many believe that this is just another speedy wedding that is going to take a turn maybe sooner rather than later. What do you guys think of Ben and JLo's dynamic? Hey guys, I'm your host Lauren, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 reasons why Ben Affleck could be leaving JLo. Coming in at number 10, we have the Grammys. To have a public fight anywhere is uncomfortable enough without being a celebrity at the Grammys. When Jennifer and Ben seem to have a disagreement at this year's Grammys, it sent alarm bells to fans who began believing that there may be trouble in paradise. When investigating why they began fighting in the first place, it was later revealed that the source of the miserable looks from Ben are most likely due to the fact that he was just exhausted that day. While being in front row seats, they really just couldn't avoid the camera whatsoever. Being pressured to go anywhere you don't want to go sucks no matter who you are and it really seems that Ben just wasn't having it. A source close to the stars tells the press, Jen and Ben had a fun date night out at the Grammys, but they have both been very busy working on several projects. And Ben was feeling very tired. He wanted to go and support Jen, but he just wasn't his usual self. But are Ben and Jen just a bit too different? The source explains further, saying, Ben is more of a homebody. It just isn't his thing to be out at events all the time. While Jen reportedly thinks the memes about Ben that are circulating around the internet are hilarious, Ben allegedly brushes them off. The source claims she had shown Ben a few photos that night and he brushed it off as he's not phased at what the internet has to say about him. Regardless of what the source claims, a body language expert took a look at the situation and gave her opinion at the event. When looking at the whisper between Ben and Jen, she says, Jennifer's response to Ben's whisper looks much more firm and knee jerk. Though the expert explains further that JLo's reaction to Ben seems to be shocking and her hand on his knee could be considered a control gesture. Also noting how they have no smiles afterwards. She concludes that she believes the whole thing is a confrontational moment. Could this just be a bad day or the beginning to an end? Number 9. Unhappy home. When they first got together, an insider revealed how Jennifer was walking on air. But now it appears she's coming down to reality as multiple sources have claimed the honeymoon phase has worn off since settling into their life at their LA home. While both are working with busy careers and the stress of blending two families, could it just all be too much? A source tells the press, they're back to the grind of work and parenting. Reality has set in. The same source also explains that only recently Ben stormed out of the house following an intense fight. Allegedly, the couple have been arguing nonstop since the wedding. A source says, before the wedding, Jennifer put on an Oscar-worthy performance for Ben, pretending to be perfect, easygoing wife-to-be, claiming Ben was blinded by love and just didn't really know what he was getting into. Number 8. Her Control Freak Methods Jennifer is said to be a bit of a diva in the past as well as a bit controlling of her space and anyone that's in it. Reportedly, Ben just needs some space as he wants things to work out. An insider revealed, Ben's life has become much more difficult ever since he tied the knot with Jennifer because of her controlling behavior. Many are beginning to realize that JLo's personality could be taking a toll on the relationship. Another insider shared with Us Weekly that the issues between the two are becoming very visible now. Since their viral Grammys appearance, claiming they try to play it down, but the tensions are plain for all to see. The consensus is that she's tough on Ben and intense in her ways. He's finding it difficult to take. Fans even seem to speculate that the pair contradict each other. Maybe Ben's more low-key attitude and Jennifer's more extroverted, flashy personality just aren't going to be a good match. With reports of Jen trying to pick outfits for her man to forcing his attendance to the events he has no interest in, do you think it's really going to work out in the end? Number 7. Marriage Clauses As we know, Ben and Jennifer were engaged before their recent marriage, and they had other people in their lives, of course. Reportedly, because of this, JLo and Ben signed an anti-cheating clause that has caused a bit of controversy. But exactly how much will they get if one of them cheats? Apparently, to avoid any infidelity, the couple signed a $5 million anti-cheating agreement. Information from a close source claims Jennifer fears Ben is going to get tired of her, saying she's trying to keep things fresh and exciting. She doesn't want to divorce just after a few months of marriage. And she's very conscious of what people say about them. This is reportedly not the only contract Jennifer got her husband to sign. Allegedly, Jennifer has a contract to even do with their weekly sexual relations, getting Ben to sign on for having a minimum of four sexual relations per week. I mean, people have said she's controlling in the past, but if this is really true, it is next level. Number six, we have JLo's career. While we know the honeymoon phase has to eventually come to an end, there seems to be particularly quick. According 
According to some various new reports, Ben was shocked when Jen decided to return to work almost immediately after their wedding day. A close source to the couple says she had him fooled for a while, but Ben's realizing Jennifer is as career driven as she's ever been. The couple honeymooned in France, then Jen decided to make a side trip to Italy in order to be in a fashion shoe, instead of returning home to LA with him. In previous interviews, Ben has always explained how he is blown away by his wife's work ethic, but a source has said how disappointed he has been as Jennifer seems to prioritize her career over time with the family. As Jen is generally more of a type A personality, it seems a difference in lifestyles is leading to complications. Jennifer has been denying these claims, saying, it's super important for me, especially now, to prioritize my personal life and not just my work life. When I had kids was when I started thinking differently. Things changed for me. Little by little, my perspective has turned into a healthier work-life balance. But if what sources say are true, it may be that Jen has changed her mind. Number 5. Ben's Bad Habits One of the major things that seems to clash with Jennifer's health-conscious lifestyle is Ben's smoking habit. Despite maintaining a sober lifestyle, his smoking habit is the one thing he's really hanging on to. It was Jennifer's former fiance, Alex, who would brag about Jennifer's ultra-clean lifestyle. He said in a previous interview, she really leans into the big fundamentals, like getting her rest 8-10 to 10 hours. She doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, and she lives a very clean life. An insider claims that this is a big deal for Jen, as this is one of his long-standing habits. They reveal he promised to give it up, but with all her nagging, he's smoking more and more often. Besides his most likely very irritating smoking habit, the source also reveals Ben may have a bit of a cleanliness problem as well, sharing Ben doesn't clean up after himself, which irritates Jennifer. The source also discusses the way JLo goes about her nagging with her husband, saying she's been known to yell at him and point her finger. This makes people wonder if she mistakes him for a dog. For the sake of their marriage, we have to hope that these are just rumors. Number 4. We have his ex-wife's advice Ben and his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, seem to have a very good relationship now in regards to co-parenting. Sources have said there is no ill will from anyone and their mutual goal is to focus on zero drama and to prioritize being great parents to their children, as well as claiming that they get along really well. But could recent trouble with his new marriage force him to turn to his ex for advice, as well as maybe a shoulder to vent on? A source close to the star claims that Ben has been asking Garner for help in his marriage. The source reveals, especially when it comes to the issue of their children, which is said to be the couple's biggest source of contention. I'm sure this is something JLo can't be too impressed by, and I can't imagine I would be either. And number 3 we have the media. Jennifer called her 2004 split with Ben her biggest heartbreak. But why did this end in the first place? Well, reportedly it's because of the media. When they planned to cement their relationship, the couple ended up postponing their wedding due to the excessive media attention it was getting. This was followed by ending their relationship just the next year. In a conversation that was released after, it reveals how Ben hated all the attention the wedding was getting, which in the end was one of the reasons that the two called for the original postponement. He reportedly says, It's driving me crazy. Everything is out of control. Because of the media disrupting their lives to this extent in the past, you know the two have to be very wary of it now. A relationship expert chimed in, saying the reason that they were making a big show of their relationship is due to the fact that they are struggling so much behind closed doors. The expert also believes that JLo is worried about fans doubting her choice, especially if the relationship fails. Jo Hemmings, the expert herself, says Ben won't get a third chance, which is why we see him so glued to JLo's side. And if she gets a whiff of him behaving badly, then he won't be forgiven this time. Jo believes Ben has to prove he has matured from the last two decades and show how ready he is for this commitment with her this time around. Jo goes on to explain, saying she cares more about what her followers think than she might be willing to admit. And by both of them making such public statements, whether in a song, a rain, or a social media post, they're reinforcing their tenacity to make this work. I'm sure Ben can't love how much the media is seemingly playing a role in their relationship though. And at number two, we have known to be rude. Many fans believe Jennifer Lopez tops the list when it comes to rudest celebrities in Hollywood. Though she has earned her high reputation for her acting, her singing, her dancing, a few fans believe she's not as nice as she she hopes to appear. Social media users have come forward recently to share their weird interactions with the star. One TikTok user explains her experience when trying to help JLo pick out shoes for her kids. Apparently when the Foot Locker employee couldn't find the size, JLo cussed her out. Another shared how a nail artist was forced to give the singer a pedicure upside down as Jennifer
Jennifer was laying on her stomach and refusing to roll onto her back. With Ben having such a more introverted lifestyle and low key attitude, it's hard to know if they're really going to make this match work, to considering how Jennifer acts in public, to fans and to staff members. And at number one, we have public arguments. With the couple being in the spotlight after their recent and very public moment at the Grammys, it's hard to not watch all their future interactions. So when video footage surfaced of the couple attending the premiere in January of JLo's new movie, Shotgun Wedding, the internet detectives got to work. In the clip, it seems the relationship isn't as blissful as they want fans to believe. At first glance, it seems they were just having a simple conversation while JLo sips her drink, but fans believe something different may be going on. When watching the clip, you can definitely notice some tension happening, with Ben looking defensive as Jen glares at him. TikTok sleuths believe they've gotten to the bottom of it, as they try to lip read the two to better understand what was really going on. The lip reader claims Ben said to JLo, I didn't drink anything, okay? Jen then gives him a glare while taking a sip of her own drink. TikTok users then speculate that Ben says to JLo, Jen, very frustrated. Though it's impossible to know what they're really talking about, the lip reader does seem to be spot on. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Do you think Ben and JLo are made to last or will it end like it did before? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.